Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to answer a question from one of my listeners, you know, that a lot of people are dealing with the same type of problem. Okay. So I'm going to read what she wrote and I'm going to answer that question. Here's what she wrote. She said, why, please, can you explain as I follow you and have done for a while, why the narcissist, they won't let you go. Okay. She wants to know why the narcissist won't let you go. I'm going to get into all of this and I'm also going to talk about, you know, why they keep you around as well. Here's what she writes. She said, they show you that they don't care. They don't want you, but they won't let you go. I don't understand why any human would want to traumatize someone like this. I understand everything you say in your post, but I can't process this. My narc has been in my life for four years, and no matter what I do, I can't get him to leave me alone. I've got angry, blocked him, called him out. He always finds a way to get back to me. We work together, so I've left my job for now. He has been actively looking for and entertaining other supply, but tells me I'm the love of his life and can't live without me. I just need this to end. I can't process why someone wants to keep doing this to me. I'm a good person. I have two children, which aren't his. I've asked him to go and enjoy his life, find his person because it's not me, but he doesn't listen. He has kept me a secret from everyone he knows. Okay, let's get into this. This is, you know, common with the narcissist. They don't let you go. And I'm going to get into why they don't let you go. All right. Narcissists like to keep supply around. They hate when you walk away and you move on in your life and you're happy. This is another reason they like to torture you when you break up with a narcissist because they hate to be abandoned. See, even more than being exposed, a narcissist hates to be abandoned. Now, in her case, she's gotten angry at him. She's blocked him. She's left her job. And he still finds a way to weasel his, himself back. And he's still telling her she's the love of his life. Well, we know she's not the love of his life because if she was the love of his life, he wouldn't be doing all of this, okay? But what she is is a source of supply to him. He wants to keep her around. Why? Why does, why does a narcissist keep you around? This is what a lot of people don't get. They say, well, you know, they're really not into me, but why do they keep calling me every now and then? Why do they want to see me now and then, but they're really not into me? Because you are offering that narcissist something, something, okay? This is what a lot of people don't realize. A narcissist doesn't think like you. See, the normal person feels like, well, if I'm not into you, you know, I'm not going to bother with you. I don't need to see you. I don't need to pretend to be romantic with you because I'm looking for my person to build a life with. But see, a narcissist is not looking for their person to build a life with. They're looking for people to satisfy their cravings and their needs and to feed their ego. So she had to have been offering this guy some source of supply. He knows that she cared about him, okay? How does he know? Because she got angry with him. Showing emotion shows the narcissist that you care. That's why you have to walk away cold. No emotions. Don't say anything to the narcissist. You don't want to let them know that they even affect you. Because if they, they that gives them satisfaction. They're like, oh, well, you're getting angry at me. That means you must really care about me. Because when somebody really doesn't care about you, they, they're not going to get angry. They don't care. They don't, they don't give a shit, all right? But the thing is, he's not letting her go because I'm... I don't know what she's offering him because she didn't get specific in the relationship. It could have been sex now and then he came back for. Maybe she's lent him money. Um, maybe she's been a therapist to him or been there for him when he's down. Maybe he's bored at his job or he contacts her when he's bored. See, these are sources of supply that a lot of people don't realize that a narcissist will use you for. They'll use you to, you know, as a safety net or a comfort zone. That's why a lot of narcissists can stay married because the person that they're married to is a safety net. 
They may be getting in-house pussy or in-house dick, to, just to be blunt about it. They have somebody they could have sex with, not because they're into the person, but because they want to just get off and satisfy their needs. That's one reason. Or they have somebody doing their wash, cleaning their clothes. And also it's comforting to know that somebody's there. They know that you are there. They're not alone. What a narcissist fears is to be alone. And it sounds like to me that she was a safety net for this guy, but he wants his cake and eat it too. He wants to go out. He wants to have fun, but he doesn't want to let her go because he likes knowing she's there, okay? Because she's obviously a good person and she has good qualities and that's why he would want to keep her around, all right? And and maybe she's put up with it for a while, so he thinks he can keep doing this. He can keep bouncing in and out of her life. This is why you got to slam that fucking door and not let the narcissist back in. Because a narcissist won't cut it off with you. Most of the time they won't, all right? They'll keep coming back and wasting your fucking time. You've got to be the one to say enough is enough with the games. If you're not all in, then I'm not going to give you another minute of my time, okay? Every time you get on the phone with a narcissist and you're going back or you're talking to them about whatever, okay? That's time out of your life that they are taking. They're also putting themselves in your mind where you're thinking about them during the day. That's taking away from you putting your energy into other things, maybe into your children, maybe into taking care of your house, maybe going out and meeting new people and networking and focusing in on other people. This is why narcissists, they hoover sometimes. Like I had this woman who said that her ex kept liking her pictures with a guy that she was dating. And I said he was trying to mind fuck you. That's exactly what he was trying to do. He's trying to put himself in your head so that you sit there and you ruminate about him. And what is that going to do? That's going to fuck you up with the guy that you're dating, okay? Because you're not going to give that guy a chance. You're going to be thinking back on the good times with the narcissist. Or you're going to sit there and you're going to doubt everything, why the relationship broke up. And you're going to say, oh, they must really care if they're liking my pictures. No, if they really cared, they would have never taken a chance of letting you go. People that really care will never let you go, all right? They'll never want to see you with somebody else. So all of this is games, 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 games. And what she's not processing is the fact that not only may he have been getting supply off her in some way, or she was a safety net, okay, but he could have been using her, you know, just for, you know, therapy or as a mother figure, he liked talking to her now and then. It made him feel good to know that she's there, the safety net, but also because a narcissist could be sadistic, all right? They could be sadistic. They like the control. They like to know you care, all right? It's an ego rush for the narcissist. And this is another thing that a lot of people don't take into account. This is why a narcissist will breadcrumb you. Number one, you're not a main supply, but they want to keep you around for their fucking ego, all right? They like knowing that you're into them. How do they know you're into them? Because you're taking their calls. You're taking their calls when they're not putting in the effort that they should. And that's showing the narcissist that you really care. And what's that doing? That's beefing up that ego of theirs, okay? And that makes them feel good too, knowing you're there. You're a backup supply, okay? You're a backup supply, So again, you guys, you have to, these people will not be, will not give you closure. They will not tell you what's really going on. They want to keep you in the dark. They want to confuse you. And why is that? So they can control you so that they can have you around. All right. This is why I say it. And I'm going to say it in almost every podcast I can. You've got to stay focused focused, focused, all right? You've got to see what this narcissist is doing. Are they putting the effort in? Like I had a client that I was dealing with recently 
where she was doing everything for this guy, everything. She was buying him clothes. She was, you know, treating him like a king, buying him tons of Christmas gifts, everything. And I said to her, what is he doing for you? Okay. He did minimal things for her. When he was going through a tough time, she was there for him. But when she had a bad car accident, guess what? He, could, he, he couldn't care less. He was like, oh, you know, sorry to hear that, but really didn't care, all right? And I told her, I said, what are you getting from this guy? You know, I said, what are you getting from him? What are you getting, occasional dick now and then? You can get that anywhere. You don't need him. You don't even need to be putting yourself out, spending all your money on somebody who doesn't appreciate it. On top of it, he didn't even appreciate all that she did, okay? He took her for granted, so the point I'm trying to make in all of this is this. If somebody is not appreciating what you do or they're not putting in the same level of energy that you're putting in, then you got to cut them, cut them, cut them, all right? Go listen to my podcast about your cutoff games got to be fierce. It's one of my older podcasts that I put out when I was really going in on it about dating and relationships and how not to be jerked around by these zeros and losers that want to waste your time, waste your life. And this is one of the biggest crimes of a narcissist is that they will waste your fucking life away with their games, okay? So the bottom line is this, like she was saying in this thing that she wrote me is like, He's, you know, he's just not letting her go. Okay, well, you know what? He doesn't have a say in this, okay? You are in control of your life. So whether he doesn't want to let you go, you know what? Who cares? You know you want to let him go, so you let him go. So when he reaches out to you from another number after blocking him, you don't give him any attention. Keep block, 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 block. Every time you think it's them or they're trying to call you or anything, block, block, block. Eventually, the narcissist will know that you have had enough. Enough is enough. You've got to get rid of them because they'll keep doing this. They'll hoover you. They'll love bomb you. They'll tell you how much they care about you. You are the love of my life, okay? You know, stop believing words, okay? Anybody could say, oh, you're the love of my life. Really? Prove it. Fucking prove that I'm the love of your life. Show me that I am the love of your life. If you can't show me with your behaviors and actions, then guess what? I know I'm not the love of your life, okay? And that you are full of shit, all right? And now I don't bother with people that are trying to play game on me. These are people that I cut loose because they're playing you for a fool. Playing you for a fool. They're playing on your emotions. And it's up to you to respect yourself and say, I'm not going to let anybody jerk me around or play me for a fool, okay? Th I, I, that's it. I'm done. I don't care what you say. You've shown me. Your track record shows me you're not all in. You're always hunting out other supply. Well, you know what? Be on your merry way and make sure you don't ever come back this way, okay? Don't ever come back this way because I, you will not get the time of day out of me because you have wasted my time. Wasted my time, all right? Plus the fact that she's got kids and everything, you know, he has no respect for the fact that he's playing with some, you know, a mother of two children who's trying to move on in her life and have a companion. He's wasting her time. He's wasting her kids time from moving on and having a happy life. You, it's up to you, you to get rid of them because these people will linger. Narcissists will linger. So understand this, and I'm going to cut it to the chase right here. A narcissist will stick around, not because they love you, ding, 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 but because you're either a safety net, you're offering some kind of supply, it's up to you to figure out what they're there for, what are they getting out of you. Now, keep in mind this, okay, and I actually had this happen to me, I was dealing with somebody that I really thought I loved and everything like that, and I thought he loved me, he wasn't looking for sex. He wasn't looking for money, 
But what he was looking to do was waste my time and he was looking for somebody to talk to and a safety net, okay? And I said to myself, well, why would, if he didn't care about me, why would he keep calling me? He was calling me because I served a purpose. He's in a very, you know, weird situation. So, you know, he needed to know that somebody was there. He needed to know somebody was there and I was that safety net for him. And this is what narcissists will do. They will keep you around as a safety net, just even if they're not after sex, even if they're not after money, maybe they like to talk to you. Maybe you give them good advice. Maybe they need an ear to chew. Maybe they're trying to waste the clock at work and try to get through the day and they call you. They will use you for whatever purpose they feel they could use you for, okay? They may have supplies for sex, so they don't need sex out of you. They may be okay financially, so they don't need money out of you, but they'll use you as a safety net just to know that you're there. Or the other thing too, you guys, they use you because they love knowing that you're into them. Ego boost, ego boost. You're picking up their calls every time they call you every couple of weeks. Ego boost, it shows you care. You care about the narcissist. What does that do? It makes the narcissist feel like they're super terrific, super wonderful, and that you're there if ever they decide they want to something out of you more, okay? But understand this. You are not a prime supply. You are not a prime supply, all right? Pretty much, you know, a prime supply most likely would be somebody that they can get some kind of money off of. That's, you know, if they're after money. If it's a sex thing, all right, you know, their prime supply is the one that they're going to spend the most time to and give the most attention to. But even a prime supply, they're not going to put 100% effort as a relationship would be, they're always going to disappear and ghost at times and be juggling other supply. In any event, the, the only one a narcissist loves is themselves, okay? And, and feeding that, that those, those, you know, fantasies and those pleasures that they get. All they care about is filling up that em empty void within themselves with instant pleasure, instant gratification, once you see, okay, you've got to, you know, you guys, you have to watch the unspoken, all right? Stop looking for clarity from words from a narcissist because you will not get it. You will not get it. This is why we have a reverse discard because the narcissist is not telling you they're not all in. They're pretending they're all in because they don't want you moving along on your life and, and abandoning them. They don't want you to go with somebody else and be happy. They want you around for whenever they they feel like being around you. It's when they feel like having you around or they feel like spending time with you or they feel like, you know, having sex with you. You're better than that, okay? And stop letting these people use you, okay? Know who the fuck you are and be, be strong enough to say, you know what? It's better to be alone than to be used and breadcrumbed and, and jerked around by these users, okay? Because that's exactly what a narcissist is. They are a user that will use you for something, even if it's just a chit chat. They will use you. Understand, they're not talking to you because they're in love with you. Narcissists can't love. They don't want to open themselves and be vulnerable and, and, you know, leave themselves open for attack. So they can't, you know, they can't let their guard down and they can't be vulnerable. So they can't love. They always have their guard up. All right. And they can't sacrifice. So they're not with you for love. They're with you because you're offering something, something. All right. And it, like I said, keep in mind, it's not necessarily sex and money or a place to stay. It could be an ego boost or, you know, let me just bring this last thing up too. When you deal with a narcissist, I can't even talk you guys because I've been going all day. When you deal with a narcissist, you're basically dealing with a jokester. You're dealing with a clown, all right? 
Life to a narcissist is a game. They're a clown. And they, they get off on playing games on people. They get off on tricking you. They're a trickster, okay? So, you know, you that's why you got to learn the game, listen to my podcast so you get it. A lot of people, it's not that they're stupid. It's just that they don't know the game. They were never taught the game, all right? How did I learn it? I learned it by being a victim of the game. And that's one of the reasons I started podcasting was to expose this so that nobody went through what I went through, which really sucked, okay? I said, I will never let any, you know, I, if I can, I don't want anybody to go through what I went through, all right? Because I dealt with narcissists my whole life and I just got tired of the bullshit because I'm a straight shooter, I'm a truth teller. And I'm also a scapegoat. So that's why I said enough is enough. I want to expose all this stuff so that when you see it, you recognize it and you say, you know what? Not today, Satan. I see what you're doing. If you're not making me a priority, I'm out. I'm out. If you're sitting there telling me I'm the love of your life, prove it. If you can't prove it, it's a wrap. Bye. It's a wrap. Okay? Now I know you're just stringing me along to keep me as your safety net. I'm your safety net when, you know, things aren't working out for you. And that's another thing keep in mind. When a narcissist comes around, it's because they're not doing good, all right? When a narcissist comes back and hoovers you, you guys, it's because they're not doing good in their life and they need you for something, okay? They need you for something. It's not that they came back because, ooh, I'm in love with you. No, if they were in love with you, they would have never taken a chance of losing you. They're coming back because they're not doing good, all right? Me and my homegirl, we used to talk about this all all the time in dating, all right? She's really, really slick chick from Brooklyn. You know, she's my girl. And we used to talk about this all the time, like when we used to get hit up by some of these guys, they'd come back, you know, a couple weeks later, a couple months later, and we used to laugh and we used to say, they're not doing good. They're hitting us up. They're not doing good. Okay. And we used to laugh about it, but that's exactly what's going on. Their main supply or the supply they have, they're having problems with, or they're not happy or they're bored. And guess what? They come back and they hoover you. All right. She's married now and she's happy, but we used to laugh about all of this kind of stuff. You guys, this is all about, this is all game. All right. So the bottom line is, you know what you have to do. You have to be prepared to be on your own. Okay. And not get half a person. You don't want half a person. I don't give a fuck what comes out of a narcissist's mouth. They're a liar. Period. Dot. End of story. So they are not credible people that you could say, oh, you know, oh, they say they love me. I guess they do. No, no, you're dealing with a liar. Once you know you're dealing with a liar, a liar, you know you can never trust what comes out of their mouth. And that's exactly what's going on here. So it's up to you to say enough is enough. I'm out of here. Bye. Peace sign. Okay. Deuces. I'm out. All right. So that's how you handle it, you guys. And she's not used to it because she's not, you know, the woman that wrote this to me, it, it, it blows her mind because in her way of thinking, which is the normal way of thinking, you know, if you're into somebody, you are, you know, that's why you're contacting them. That's why you're around. If you're into somebody, you wouldn't be interested in other people. But what she doesn't realize is that there are snakes and schemers and users that do these things, and it's all part of the game, all right? So once you know the game, you could spot the game, and you need to cut this toxic BS out of your life, okay? And I'm sorry if I curse a little bit. Sometimes I get people say, oh, do you have to curse yet? You guys, I get passionate with it because I want to help you. I want to help you so that you don't get played by these zeros, okay? So I hope that helps you. If it does, hit the subscribe button and share the podcast and have a great day, you guys.
If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram the game exp 123 okay and have a great day mm-hmm.